Ever wondered how doctors examine our lungs? Today, we're going to unravel the mystery behind a fascinating procedure known as bronchoscopy. Imagine a tiny flexible tube, no thicker than a pencil, equipped with a light and a camera. This is a bronchoscope, and it's the star of our story. This device embarks on an incredible journey, navigating the maze of airways within the lungs, shedding light on areas usually shrouded in darkness. Bronchoscopy, the procedure that employs this device, serves a dual purpose. It plays a pivotal role in diagnosing and treating a variety of respiratory conditions. When it comes to diagnosis, bronchoscopy is like a detective, helping doctors uncover clues about different lung diseases. It's particularly good at gathering evidence in the form of tissue samples for biopsy to accurately pinpoint conditions like lung cancer, chronic cough, and infections. But bronchoscopy isn't just about diagnosis. It also moonlights as a therapeutic tool, assisting physicians in tackling several respiratory issues. Picture a foreign object lodged in the airways or an obstruction blocking the normal flow of air. With a bronchoscope, doctors can intervene, remove the intruder, clear the pathway, and restore lung function. Now, you might be wondering, are all bronchoscopes the same? Well, there are actually two types, flexible and rigid. Flexible bronchoscopy, with its versatility, is the go-to for routine examinations. On the other hand, rigid bronchoscopy, with its sturdiness, is preferred for specific therapeutic procedures. So, there you have it. A bronchoscopy is more than just a procedure. It's an exploration of the respiratory system, a diagnostic detective, and a therapeutic helper. It's like having a miniaturized explorer armed with a flashlight and a camera, delving into the labyrinth of our lungs. To recap, bronchoscopy is a medical procedure that involves examining the airways within the lungs using a bronchoscope. This flexible tube, equipped with a light and camera, enables doctors to diagnose and treat a variety of respiratory conditions. There are two types of bronchoscopy, flexible and rigid, each with its own unique uses. So, next time you hear the term bronchoscopy, remember the tiny explorer and its crucial role in keeping our lungs healthy. The mysteries of the respiratory system might seem complex, but with tools like the bronchoscope, they become a little less daunting. Ever wondered how doctors diagnose and treat respiratory conditions? Well, a common method is through a procedure known as bronchoscopy, a fascinating exploration of the human respiratory system. There are two main types of this procedure, flexible bronchoscopy and rigid bronchoscopy. Each serves a distinct purpose with their own unique advantages and considerations. Flexible bronchoscopy involves the use of a thin, flexible tube equipped with a light and camera. This flexible bronchoscope is a highly versatile tool, often used for routine examinations of the airways. It allows physicians to visually inspect the trachea and bronchi, looking out for any abnormalities that may be present. On the other hand, rigid bronchoscopy involves a larger rigid tube and is generally used for therapeutic interventions and more complex procedures. It's a bit like the heavy-duty version of the flexible bronchoscope. But why do doctors perform bronchoscopies? Well, this procedure is about more than just observation. It serves both diagnostic and therapeutic functions in the realm of respiratory medicine. One of the primary diagnostic roles of bronchoscopy involves obtaining tissue samples for biopsy. This is crucial for identifying and confirming various respiratory conditions, including lung cancer. By examining these samples, doctors can detect the presence of abnormal cells, leading them to a more accurate diagnosis. In addition to lung cancer, bronchoscopy helps identify the underlying causes of persistent respiratory symptoms, such as chronic cough. By offering a direct look into the airways, Physicians can pinpoint issues contributing to prolonged respiratory issues. Now, what does a bronchoscopy procedure look like? Before the procedure, the patient may need to fast and adjust medication usage. A local anesthetic is often applied to the back of the throat to minimize discomfort. Then the patient is positioned comfortably and the bronchoscope is inserted through the nose or mouth, guided down the throat into the airways. What makes bronchoscopy a preferred method? 
One of the biggest advantages is that it's minimally invasive, reducing the risk of complications and promoting quicker recovery. Plus, the ability to directly visualize the airways allows for accurate identification of abnormalities, tumors, and other conditions affecting respiratory health. However, like any medical procedure, bronchoscopy does carry some risks. There's a slight risk of infection, particularly if the bronchoscope comes into contact with contaminated surfaces or if the patient has an existing respiratory infection. In some cases, bronchoscopy may lead to minor bleeding, especially when obtaining tissue samples or performing therapeutic interventions. So there you have it, a brief overview of bronchoscopy, a crucial tool in the world of respiratory medicine. Whether it's flexible or rigid, this procedure plays a key role in diagnosing and treating a wide array of respiratory conditions.